Hey guys, my name is Jake Antelis. I'm a music producer and mix engineer. And today I'd like to show you another product from Source Elements called Source Zip. Now you may be familiar with compressing or making an archive or making a zip file of products on your Mac or PC. Well, Source Zip was specifically made to deal with audio files. So they have their own algorithms and ways to make a file smaller and to have it lossless and to have other options. If you have limited space, say on your computer or Dropbox and you want to zip something, you could store it that way to save room or to send a really large file. This is another reason why you use a zip file. And since this is made just for audio, it knows what it's looking at and it works really well. And the other person does not need to own this app. So like when you send them this zip file, it, it unpacks itself and it's basically the software is built into the package and it's it looks, it looks just like any other zip. Now this product supports WAV and AIFF files, 441 kilohertz to 192. Mono and stereo files only, so no surround files are supported. And it's designed to support all DAWs, Pro Tools, Logic, etc. And it works from Mac 10.5 to 10.10. And I would also like to note that 32-bit uh, float files are not currently supported, but maybe we'll see that soon. So it is worth it to note if you're sharing that with someone. And let's check it out. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the app, which is once you download it from a site or buy it or trial it, it'll show up in your applications. So I have it in my dock right now. Just double click it and let's open it up. So really simple interface, you select the quality you want. So basically the smaller the size, the smaller the, the folder will be, which is good depending on what you use it for. If it's for actually something that someone's gonna work on like a mix, then you want it to be big and lossless, meaning it's not gonna lose any fidelity or quality. But if it's something that just that's just for review and you're gonna send someone a fuller thing at a later date, then perhaps medium, large or small will work. And it'll be a much smaller size, but also you're losing quality. So in my, you know, so for my case, I'm dealing with audio, like a Pro Tools session. So I want it to be big lossless, which will still zip it and definitely cut down on size, but um, you will not lose quality at the same time. So this interface is really simple. There's really not much to it. Either you can drag and drop a file to this picture right here, or you can choose a folder. I'm actually going to drop something right here. I have a Pro Tools session right here and we'll just drop it in there. And now the next thing you got to do is hit zip. And they're asking you where do you want to save it to. So we'll do um, let's do source zip test. And it's going to the motions. It's looking at all the audio files. And again, it's built for audio, so it knows what it's looking at. It's not doing it blindly. So it's not getting rid of anything important. And again, we chose lost. So the quality will be exactly as you put it into this software. And let's actually speed this up right here. And let's actually go through our finished folders. So just for example purposes, with that export, I pulled up the original folder so you can see the size. I pulled up the source zip test file, which I made and showing the size. And I also did a right click and I did an Apple compress. So I didn't use the app and I also did it through Apple. So as you can see, it was 2.2 gigabytes and through the source zip app, it's 496.4 megabytes. And using the Apple built-in one, it was 725.5. So even though I did a lossless file, which you'd expect it not to be as big, there was still, you know, that's still shrinking it quite a bit and it's impressive to, to say the least. And the Apple one is still good, but I think, you know, if you're sending a whole album worth of stuff, it's what it's it's definitely worth taking a look at this product. And of course, if it's something that's not that important or you're not releasing, and it's just for reference, you could obviously even get it to a smaller size using the low setting in the app. So you would click here, and again, you can even get it to a smaller size if you need that. So if you're running out of space or you just want to send files quicker, this is a great thing to have. It's made exactly for audio. And, you know, and again, you can check us out by going to Source Elements, going down to Products, and then clicking Source Zip. And there is a basic and a pro version. And the main difference is that on the pro version, you can do password protection and also do a browse mode for source unzip. Meaning you can select the specific files to unzip, which is really cool. So the prices are there. And you could also demo it, purchase it, and download the software here. And that's pretty much about it. It's a pretty simple tool and it's, it's really kind of slick. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you like this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button. And if there's any future videos you'd like to see, make sure to let me know in the comments. And subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching and have a great day.